Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Calvary. It's good to have you here. For those of you who are visiting with us, it's, uh, it's good to have you. In the back of the pew in front of you is a, a visitor's card. We'd ask that you'd fill it out. And after the service, if you were to take it back to the, to the uh, visitor center, you have the opportunity to meet Sydney and Pastor. And we have a free gift for you, a, um, a CD with all of our uh, the praise and worship music that we sing here. Uh, that's yours as a free gift, so we want to encourage you to do that. Uh, just a couple of announcements. Um, there is a still a need for some assistance in our special needs class, and if you're able to help with that, uh, a class that we are offering during the morning worship service and during the uh, ABF hour for those who have uh, children or, or, or young people that have uh, special needs and they're not able to sit in the service here, the whole idea is to, to just pro provide them with the special assistance they need while incorporating them into, into regular services, regular uh, Sunday school class. But when the special needs arise, we have a place for them to go. So if you can help with that, or if you're interested in helping that, would you please see either Matt Hareen or contact the church office, and we'll be happy to get you connected with, uh, with the people you need to get connected with. I want to remind every one of our uh, dinner on the grounds after ABF today, going up to the Acres. If you forgot about it. I'm sure there's probably going to be enough stuff there. We want to encourage you to come. Also a reminder that there is no evening service tonight. 
So we uh, would encourage you to enjoy the day and uh, uh, encourage you to uh, uh, relax and have a, a good time with your family. Um, other announcements, uh, just very quickly. Um, uh, you'll see the one in there about the youth ministry basketball camp. We, uh, this coming Wednesday is our last um, soccer camp. And then there'll be a, a week off where we'll be doing something special. Pastor Mel will be doing something special, and then we'll be starting basketball camp. So if you're interested in helping that with that, we want to encourage you to get involved in there as well. I believe that's all the announcements I need to touch on right now, and um, just want to encourage you to be in prayer for the church. I was reading this morning in um, Luke chapter 7. It's interesting, John the Baptist is in prison. You remember Jesus said that there was no one like him, that he was a, he was a prophet amongst prophets. He was the prophet. And he was the one that came and told everybody about who Jesus is and about this coming Messiah and this, this coming Savior. And he finds himself in prison. He was having a bad day. And when he's in prison, he, um, he had people that were bringing reports to him of the things that Jesus was doing. And John at one point said, you know what? Go and ask him if he's really the promised one, if he's really the Messiah. And Jesus, interesting thing, Jesus never answered the question. All he said to John was this, or said to the messenger was this, go back and tell John that the blind see, the deaf hear, those who are lepers have been cleansed. And the messenger went back to John with that, and John was encouraged. I don't know what your day's like. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know how difficult your time is right now. But what I want to encourage you to do is to do the exact same thing that Jesus, in his words, encouraged John the Baptist to do. That's to look back and say, you know what, I've seen God's faithfulness all along. And I have no reason to believe that he's not going to be faithful today. So I want to encourage you with that. I want to encourage you to, to dwell on those things. And the other thing that's pretty neat about it is God gives us a church family to come alongside of those who are aching, to come alongside of those who are hurting, to come alongside of those who are struggling, so that you can rehearse with them what God has done in your life. That's the reason why we get together. We, get to, we come together to corporately worship as a result of what we've done this week. We've come together today to worship together. But then God has also given us this body to encourage one another, not to, not to tear each other down, but to encourage one another. I want to encourage you to do that. I want to encourage you to, uh, to reach out to somebody because you know what? There's a lot of people that are struggling. Let's pray. Father, we, uh, we're oftentimes, uh, we find ourselves getting in a routine of just doing church because it's the way we've been raised. It's what we're supposed to do. Many of us, there's, there's nothing else you do on a Sunday than go to church. And God, we... Uh, we ask that you forgive us for the routine that, um, that makes us come together to, to worship. And God, may it be the desire of our hearts as we go through a busy week, as we go through a week where, where we face struggles and, and tough things, or we enjoy blessing, may it be an opportunity for us to come together here today to worship and to encourage one another. God, our, our desire as always is that you would meet with us today. Many of us have not come prepared to worship. Many of us come with baggage and all kinds of other things in our minds and worship and, and thanksgiving is not really what's at the front of our minds, but God, may we indeed, as, as we saw in the video before the service this morning, understand that there is nothing that we have done to earn our salvation, that it's all because of you and your blood. So, Father, challenge us anew. Uh, we pray that you would encourage us. We pray that this morning might be a time of encouragement for everyone that's here. And, God, that you would be pleased with what's done here today. We commit this service to you, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.